The fight against cancer is getting easier for some Green Country patients. Hillcrest Medical Center is now armed with a powerful new, new tool to zap tumors so patients can avoid going under the knife. News on 6 anchor Latoya Silman has more on how it all works. Latoya? Well, Scott and Terry, Tulsa is the first in the world to have the latest model of this revolutionary machine. One prostate cancer patient hopes the technology will help him get over cancer faster so that he can get on with his life. Keep your arms on the table. Once Don Potter is strapped in and the mood is set, CyberKnife goes to work. The CyberKnife is a brand new type of radiation um, in that it uses a robot that you can see here to um, basically give the radiation in all sorts of different directions. Dr. Diane Heaton says it's a more complex treatment, but it's more accurate, done in half the time, and it's only a third of the cost of traditional treatment. Treatment normally takes nine weeks for prostate cancer patients like Don, but with CyberKnife, just five days. The beams target Don's tumor in his prostate while doctors and technicians monitor the machine in another room. Don's done in about 30 minutes. No pain, no anything, and uh, it's a lot better than the alternative, being cut on or whatever, and, and the pain of that. Don Potter knows a lot about pain. He lost a brother and a sister to cancer, but he's determined to survive. And we want to travel and do all that, and uh, as soon as we get this over with, I think we're going to make a run across the Blue Ridge Parkway to see the, the uh, leaves change. And Dr. Heaton says since his tumor was detected early, the odds are in his favor. The typical things that we're seeing is between 85 and 100 percent of all tumors that are within where we treated are stopped. And St. John has an older version of CyberKnife, but it's the newest version that has put Tulsa on the map. In fact, Scott and Terry Hillcrest says they've been getting calls from doctors all around the world asking about the machine. That's good to hear. It is. Thank you, Latoya.